First, I built a jig to draw a straight line down a 52 inch long, 1 inch diameter copper tube. This tube will be a header for a solar panel. Next, mark that line every 2 inches down the pipe for a total of 21 locations centered around the center of the pipe. Line up all of your headers and mark all the other pipes identically. Once all the locations have been marked, it's time to drill a pilot hole. I use a 1 8 inch drill bit for the pilot hole. Another jig holds the pipe in place during drilling. Drill the pilot hole as close to the X as possible in the 21 locations. Then follow up the pilot hole with a larger bit. My small copper tube has a 3 8 inch outside diameter. The smaller copper tube is one quarter inch inside diameter. It is carefully unrolled on the floor to prevent kinks. I use 60 foot rolls because it divides perfectly by 90 inches. The larger diameter tool allows the smaller copper tube to be marked and cut at exactly 90 inch pieces. The copper pieces still have bows in them. Carefully bend the copper tube as straight as possible. I have found that smacking against a flat surface does a nice job. Sand the ends of the tubes. Then cover with solder flux. The fun part is trying to shove each of the small copper tubes into the header pipe. The prior tubes often want to fall back out. Take a look down the copper pipe and verify all the tubes go in far enough, but not too far. If they go in too far, they won't reach the other header. Solder the copper tubes into the header. Be sure the header is hot enough or you won't get a good solder joint. For the second header, begin by soldering the two outside tubes to the header first. After they've cooled, then shove the rest of the pipes in place. And then of course, solder them. Soldering headers indoors is okay, but the next step, soldering 5,000 inch thick copper sheet to the copper tube, is best done outside due to the amount of smoke you will create. Press the copper sheet securely against the copper pipe. I found 3 quarter inch black iron pipe did a reasonable job. Have lots of solder available. I use 50-50 lead based solder for this part of the project. I also use a water-based flux for this part of the project. This jug was good for about three solar panels. At this point, you can straighten the copper tubes that are wedged between the black iron pipes. You will spend about an hour soldering the copper sheet to the pipes. The soldering process causes the copper to ripple. This is fine. The other side of the sheet is the face of the panel. I sandblasted the face of the panel to roughen up the surface for painting. I used Rust-Oleum high temperature paint without a primer and sprayed the face of these panels. 
I let the panels hang in the basement for about a month to let them off gas before putting them into the boxes. For building the boxes, I cut a rabbit in the back of each pressure treated 2x4, then drilled holes where the headers will exit the sides of the panels. I assembled the boxes with screws, including the plywood back, which fits into a rabbit in the back of the 2x4s. What is missing from this video is that each box has three 2x2s running across the back of the panel. This supports the copper core solar panel and strengthens the plywood back. After I verified that no screws go through the header holes, I took one of the side 2x4s off, placed a layer of fiberglass insulation in the box, and placed the solar panel on top of the fiberglass. The 2x4 side was then replaced. To pull the solar panel down, I put several screws with washers through the copper sheeting and into the 2x2s that were used to strengthen the back of the panel. To complete the project, the panels were mounted on a rack, tempered glass was added, and flashing used to cover the edges of the glass. Silicon radiator hose was used to connect the panels. This allows for disassembly later if necessary. PVC pipe was cut lengthwise and used to cover the radiator hoses. How hot can these panels make water? We pumped 60 degree water from a garden hose into the set of panels and steam came out the other end after the panels had been sitting in the sun for a while.